Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about securely erasing data on your hard drive. So if you're going to be donating your device or perhaps giving it to somebody else to use and then they can install their own version of Windows. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to clear everything out. So generally speaking, there's no such thing as 100% secure data deletion. However, by doing the methods I'm going to show in today's tutorial, it should significantly make it much, much, much harder for someone to actually retrieve data from your hard drive. So just make sure you have everything backed up before you do anything I show in this video, because this will delete everything on your hard drive, or at least it's supposed to. And then one further step, if you're going to be actually throwing out your hard drive, or your computer, I would suggest actually getting a drill and drilling through the hard drive disk as well. So having a physical as well as software solution, both combined should definitely help mitigate your risk. And it's good enough for me. So, you know, if I'm willing to do it on my own computers, and you know, in the past whenever I dispose of anything, you know, I like to make sure it's all cleared out. Because, you know, there's a lot of, you know, risk out there when you throw away computers. Some of them end up, you know, who knows where in the world. I mean, I've seen a lot of documentaries about them ending up in, you know, scrapyards, you know, in various places in the world where people are going through it. And, you know, it's better just to be safe. Just make sure you delete everything so that nobody can recover any permanent documentation, photos, like important, like banking account information, that sort of thing that you may not really want people to have their hands on. And generally, the risk is very low, I mean, honestly, of that even happening to begin with. But just from a very, you know, security state of mind that I'm sure if you're watching this video, you probably have that opinion. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to do it. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So we are going to start off by opening up a web browser. Doesn't matter which one. I should note that you will need to have a CD or DVD or USB, you're going to have to put your computer off of it in order to run this utility. So like I said, I'm going to have in the description of the video, I'm going to have a link here. So we're just going to go ahead and open up Firefox for today's tutorial because why not? And we're going to paste into the Firefox web browser this address. And it's called Derek's Boot in Nuke. A lot of you guys are probably familiar with this application. So like I said, it's supposed to securely erase files on your system. So we're going to go ahead and select the Download Now button right up at the top. And it should begin downloading very soon. So just select Save File and then OK. And it's done downloading pretty quick. We'll go ahead and open up the folder containing it. And I'm going to go ahead and drag it over to my desktop here. Now if you have a DVD, so you want to go take this ISO file and burn it to a CD, DVD, or USB flash drive. And then I'm going to go boot off of my to my boot menu and then we're going to resume the video there. Okay, so now that I'm on my boot menu here, I'm going to go down to my CD-ROM drive. That's where I have it inserted. However, if you're using a USB flash drive, you'll probably want to select removable devices. So you can see we have our Derek's boot and new pop-up here. And it's just very important that you read everything it says here so you don't want to, you know, make any mistakes. This software irrecoverably destroys data. The software is provided without any warranty, without even the implied warranty of merchantability or fitness for a particular purpose. In no event shall the software authors or contributors be liable for any damages arising from the use of the software. The software is provided as is. So there's no coming back from this. Go ahead and hit enter. You get this warning here letting you know that once you run this tool, there's really no going back. Make sure you back up all of your files before proceeding with this really can't stress that enough. There is no coming back from this pretty much. So at this point, I want to click on Enter. Now this may take a minute. So once this is done getting us to the main window, I'll be right back. OK, so once we get to this page, we want to type M on the keyboard. And that'll get us to the Methods page. Now under Wipe Methods, if we use our arrow up or in or arrow down keys on our keyboard, we can see we have different options to wiping this computer. So quick erase, obviously, that'll be the least secure wiping. It, and you can see here over on the right, under security level, it only says one pass. If you go further down, you can get up to 35 passes. And as you can see, the security level increases the higher up in the list you go. And you can actually read a nice little description of what each one of these wipes do. For the purpose of this review, because it will be the quickest, I'm going just to select Quick Erase. 
Um, if you are looking to erase your hard drive for good and you have time to wait, just I would recommend going all the way down to the Gudman wipe. But I'm going to just select quick erase for the purpose of this review. I'm going to click on enter. And now you have to select which hard drive you want to delete. Now for most people there should only be one drive. You might have a secondary one if you have a recovery drive. Just make sure you select the right one. Typically it will be the primary partition that has the most amount of hard drive space. So I'm going to click enter again. And then you see the word wipe appears inside that those quotation marks. And then once you click F10, that'll start the wipe. So tap F10 when you're ready. So depending on your hard drive size, this might take a little while. So I'm going to let this thing run and I'll be back. Hello everybody, I'm back. It's been about 15 minutes or so. The hard drive has been successfully deleted and we can see all selected disks have been wiped. We can see the start date and the finish date. So it's pretty quick to actually begin doing this operation. And you can use USB sticks to perform this action as well. I just typically use a CD because I just find it to be a little bit easier. Now we just press any key to continue. So at this point I'm going to try and restart the computer and I will be right back. Hello everyone, I am back. So I just tried to boot from the computer and we can see that no boot file name has been received. So this computer is basically trashed at this point. Again, I cannot stress it enough. If you are trying to back up files, make sure you do them before running this tool. I know it sounds obvious, but I am sure it has happened before and I am sure someone is going to do it and then realize their mistake afterwards. So just try and take a little bit of caution when doing this, but it's a great tool, it's free, and I've used it before. So I hope this tutorial helped you guys out, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.